What's up guys and today's talk is about the future of the whole. We are just some weeks away from the official Galaxy S10 announcement and things are getting spicy. I've got some spicy juicy leaks that are just too juicy and spicy for the Galaxy S10 especially after the recent leak where we saw the S10 and S10 Plus in full glory. There's just no way this would be for the Galaxy S10 family. Instead a beast that will come later down the year could could be the one to have it. So right now the future of Samsung design is the hole. The hole in our galaxy will remain and it will improve our time. You see it's not just the hole, it is actually intractable. As we have seen with Galaxy A8s, you can swipe on the hole to launch the camera. It has a nice little animation on the side while taking selfies, doing facial recognition is pretty sweet. And a very similar implementation of this can be seen on the Galaxy S10. But in the future, the hole will get even more features. So out comes a new patent from Samsung while let's go digital it came out just a week ago The smartphone in this patent actually shows how the whole will eventually bring the new infinity design to the future Samsung flagship phone So this patent pretty much describes a full screen smartphone with a second Transparent display so the camera hole can also display the animated icons and colors pretty much What it's saying is that the whole will get its own display for different actions for example if you're doing biometric sensing it will show a heart icon it can display colors like green or red around the edge for notifications or just be completely transparent to blend in with the actual display resulting in the new infinity design this will eventually happen with the next generation with galaxy s11 if possible to truly have the new infinity display instead of having a black camera hole this patent phone has everything on the display it's using the sound on display technology proximity sensor fingerprint sensor everything is inside the display the phone is having a full display look because the whole is getting its own display in the future which will display camera when camera is launched will show notification lights some icons depending on the task or just blend in with the actual main display. It's all possible thanks to the OLED technology from Samsung. Right now, they are the only one to launch a whole OLED display and this is their next future step. The document further says that this technology is not only applicable to the circular hole, but also applicable to the oval hole, which is on the Galaxy S10 Plus. So an advanced version of hole can be implemented on the future Samsung phone, possibly on the Galaxy Note 10. The hole on the Galaxy Note 10 might not get the full features as described in the patent, but the hole on the Note 10 will definitely get more features compared to the hole of the Galaxy S10. And eventually, maybe with the S11, Samsung will completely implement a secondary display within that hole to completely give you guys a full bezel-less look. Now Note 10 could be even more powerful than the Galaxy S10, the international version may come with an Exynos 9825 chip which is going to be a 7 nanometer version of the Exynos 9820 inside of the Galaxy S10 and not only that it will have a 5G motor making it the first ever Exynos chip with a 5G capability. According to this new leak from Chinese Weibo, the Exynos 9825 could get released in the second half of this year with 7 nanometer ultraviolet lithography, which is said to be a better process than Apple's A12 chip and Snapdragon 855. The current Exynos 9820 chip of S10 actually uses an 8 nanometer die shrink process, but the Exynos 9025 will be the first Exynos chip to utilize the 7 nanometer UV process and hence it's going to put the Note 10 ahead of Galaxy S10 in terms of power and that's how it should be. I mean the Galaxy Note 10 has to come out with more features, with more power in order for people to upgrade. The S Pen is just not a big enough reason to switch from the same spec phone, you know. It's like 2014 when Galaxy S5 had Snapdragon 801 but Note 4 came with Snapdragon 805, a bit more power. So this is what Samsung could be doing with the Note 10 this year. We already know the screen size that it's going to rock a 6.7 inch display making it the largest largest Galaxy ever. We can definitely expect a 5000 mAh battery size which we already have on the 5G Galaxy S10 Plus and then possibly some more advancement with the whole technology. Also Samsung is in the process of acquiring the company behind the 10x optical zoom. We've been seeing 2x optical zoom ever since the Galaxy Note 8 came out and it's the same thing on most 
iPhone and it's time to go next level and Samsung is pretty serious about it and they're looking to buy this Israeli firm for 150 to 160 million dollars. They're the guys behind the 10x optical zoom tech which can even deliver up to 25 optical zoom thanks to their new multi-frame technology. Oppo recently showcased its 10x optical zoom technology made with this Israeli company called Core Photonics and Samsung is looking to buy the whole company to make its camera game next level. Maybe the next Galaxy phone might actually come with 5 times or 10 times optical zoom which is definitely going to be a great addition for the current 4 camera setup. And most likely the Galaxy Note 10 will rock 4 cameras on the back and 2 on the front. So a total of 6 cameras on par with the 5G Galaxy S10 Plus. Anyway guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. The Galaxy S10 release is upon us. We are entering the month of February pretty soon. I'm really excited for the future. This year is going to be great. We'll see foldable phones as well. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for latest tech videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.